how to protect your wealth outside of the banking system. People don't trust anymore in their own governments. They don't trust anymore in paper money because of money printing. They fear inflation. They don't trust the government. They don't trust paper money. That's why people is looking for alternatives. As alternatives, we have stocks, we have real estate, we have gold, we have art. But of all of these type of alternative investments outside of the banking system, only gold is really accessible to anybody. And that's why today we will speak about gold. And first of all, we will speak about how to put gold in secure hands. And that's why we invited an expert, Adam Sherlow from Awesta. Awesta is a multi-winning award company involved in the gold business. Stay with us. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hello, here is Enzo Caputo speaking with SwissBankingLawyers.com, the blog where successful people find tips about better protecting their assets with Swiss banks, with gold investments and other asset protection strategies. I am the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and the blog, as I said before, I'm very happy to have today Adam Sherlow with us. Adam Sherlow, it's a great pleasure to have you with us today. Hello, Adam. Thanks, How Enzo. are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having us. You're doing a great, great job out there educating people. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Great, great. So I'm very curious to know how to put gold in secure hands and how yes. even investors with small amounts of money can do that. Because as we have seen in many phone calls with clients, people are afraid of paper money. They don't trust their own government. That's why it's so important to invest a part of the wealth, to invest yes. a part of the wealth outside of the banking system and even outside of the country of residence. So exactly. what is your experience with clients uh, calling to you and why they are afraid they are looking for alternatives? Why, especially since the COVID crisis, we have huge demand. Can, yeah, you, he, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your experience with, uh, with, uh, the, invest with, this, with the community? Yeah, of course. So look, people putting paper money in a bank account, they're looking at returns, they're looking at safety, they're looking at all aspects. And paper money in a bank account is it's not ticking those boxes. It doesn't do what they want it to do. There's money being printed, Helicopter money, as you, uh, as you rightly say, uh, the value of money is, is decreasing and people are not getting a, a good interest rate in their bank account. So their hard earned money is not working hard for them. The numbers just don't allow it. So what yeah. people are looking for is an alternative. As you talk about with property, yes, property can be a good thing, but it, it's not for everybody. It's not, uh, it's easy. It's not as easy to get in and out of. Okay. And accessibility as well. You know, when borders close and people can't travel, what do you do then? So people are looking for an alternative to store their wealth in a safe place that is uh, outside of their country, outside of their jurisdiction that they live in. And gold is ticking all of those boxes for them. Excellent. Excellent. So what types of gold should an investor choose? What types of gold is so accessible? So what... Uh... What are the most important, or at least the most important information to know to put gold in secure hands? So we have 1999.9 pure gold bullion or ETFs, or uh, what do you recommend here? Um, we deal in physical pure gold. It's the four nines, 999.9% pure. This is the highest, uh, the highest purity. standard. Yes, the highest standard, the highest yeah. purity of physical metals. The, the problem with uh, ETFs is that you have a counterparty risk. So yeah. you are relying on the company that's paying you out uh, for their solvency and for them to be. Um, uh, and you should make sure standard. you should make sure with ETFs that the gold storage, that the gold is really there. You have to, to be 100 yes. percent sure that the issuer yes. has the gold in a safe place and that the gold is really there physically. Otherwise, you buy just a promise. You're, just You're buying a just promise. a promise. And yeah, look, exactly. Promises are great, but in, uh, in uncertain economic times, they don't stand up. So what that's people... why it's much better to invest in physical gold with the four nines, yes. 9999 9, 9, 9 gold. Exactly. And what you want is you want to make sure that that gold is legally 
owned by you. It's not on any company's balance sheet. It's not on any storage company's balance sheet. It is legally owned by you. So if those so companies... You, so you have to make sure that the gold is owned by the client. So we need direct yes. ownership, not like the banks. Yes. Because with the banks, if exactly. you have gold in a safety box of the bank, you have just the promise of the bank that the bank will hand out the gold. And by the way, banks are controlled. Banks have reporting obligation. We are living... Yes. In, in times of the automatic exchange of information, we are living yep. in times of the common reporting stone is reportable. Physical gold is not reportable if it's stored in a safe place, in a secure place. We will go into it now. Uh, what is the best place for, for gold storage to, to have the gold stored with reputable companies? Like, yes. Yeah. Please. So th this is very, very, yeah. very important yeah. because when people don't know where to store gold, uh, where to store metals, they, they do look to uh, banks and safety deposit boxes. The problem with these uh, facilities, as we've seen logistically with the virus, that if you cannot get to them, then how good is your gold? You know, if you can't leave the country, if borders are short and things like that, it's not accessible. And gold is used a lot of the time as an economic insurance policy. Yeah, it's an if, you're in, if your insurance policy is out of reach and you can't get to it, then it, it's no good. You need to have that access. Yeah. So the companies that we work with, we've worked with them for 11 years, are Brinks and Loomis. Huge companies, and they are experts in storage of precious metals. You have access to uh, London, Zurich, Frankfurt, and Singapore. So, so you can tell very reputable companies. Brinks, for example, was founded yeah. in 1859. They have 62,000 employees. They have 650 branches in 150 countries. Loomis, the same. Loomis was founded in 1852. Uh, this is the world's largest storage company. So you, will, you are working only with the biggest because... Only the trust, biggest. Trust is a very important factor. So yes. if you have a client, if a client, if somebody watching this video wants to invest in gold, he has his gold storage uh, with Brinks or with Loomis. Correct? Exactly. Yes, exactly. And he has direct ownership with Brinks or Loomis. So he can go to Brinks, he can go to Loomis and say, give me the gold. Give me my part of gold out physically. A hundred percent. They have the, All clients have direct access. And the reason we use a third party vault company rather than uh, an Alvesta vault, for example, is that there's no, uh, there's no conflict of interest. Alvesta's job is the supply of the metals. Brinks and Loomis' job is to secure those metals in the legal owner's name. If Alvesta so disappear, yeah. So then, you do only one job. You provide the gold and that's it. You don't also provide the storage. For example, the Gusta, for example, is providing the gold, but they provide also the storage. And your company, no, you don't, you are not doing that. You just provide the gold and you leave the gold storage to the best possible companies on the exactly. Whole earth. Exactly. Yeah. What we do really well is we connect the dots. We connect the dots with the gold refineries. Uh, with ourselves that put it all together and with the, the best storage companies in the world. And with this, you have a chain of trust. And as yeah. long as the metal stays within this chain of trust, it, it has the highest value. So in which, which are the most, okay, we, we, are, we, to, we are talking about the most secure companies. But now I want to talk about the jurisdictions because it's also important that jurisdictions, yes. you should have your gold storage outside of your jurisdiction of residence. Because if you have a problem, mm -hmm. your jurisdiction of your authorities at home should not have direct access to your gold. It should be more yes. complicated for them to have the access. That's why yes. I always advise my clients to have gold storage facilities outside of the country of residence. So if somebody lives in UK, you should have the gold in Zurich, for example. Yes. And you should also watch where, what kind of country this is, because the mm -hmm. country in which you do the gold storage should, should be a stable country, should yep. be a country with a liable legal system. So in case you have a litigation or in case you have problem accessing your gold, you can litigate, you can to go to court, you can to go in front of a judge who will decide yep. within short time. In Switzerland, the courts are very efficient. That's why uh, Switzerland is very is, is on top because the Swiss jurisdiction is on top. And by the way, Switzerland is one of the very few countries who has no budget problems. All the other countries in Perfect. Europe have budget problems. Only Switzerland, Liechtenstein, and Norway. These are the three, only these three countries have no budget problems. Yeah, exactly. 
And we love to give that option. You know, we're not just saying uh, our Vesta, we're a German company. So our offices are based in Germany. We're not saying that the metal has to be held in Germany or yeah. in, in, in any one country. You, you can decide where you want it to be held. And the, the, the thing that we do look, gold, gold is gold. As long as the same purity, um, you know, it, it's the same. But it's the flexibility, the accessibility, and all these additional features and benefits to the client that you can use your metals in a really smart way to make sure you're protected and that you're looking after this economic insurance policy. Excellent. We fight for your money. So, Adam, now the next question. How can the client access the gold? How you can ensure the access? How should the client ensure access to the gold? Tell yes. us a little bit more information about that. Yes? Yeah, sure. So, as we said before, with a safety deposit box, you have to go to it. And that can cause, uh, you know, uh, problems with uh, depending on where you are and borders closing and that kind of thing. With the metals in the vault, they come to you. It's much easier to move metals than it is people. So the metals can be shipped to you and you can have them physically in, in your premises. No problem. I mean, there's a few reasons why you might not want to do that for you know security purposes. Yeah. But here's the important point. They are your metals. They are legally owned by you. So you can do whatever you want to do with them. They're, they're not ours to decide. The other thing that you can do if you don't want to take physical delivery is you can choose to liquidate your metals and Alvesta, we guarantee to buy back all vaulted metals from you. And you can have cash in your account within a couple of days. So you have two options. One, take delivery and where the metal comes to you or two, you can just liquidate the metals. Okay. And who made the gold bars? Who is the company, uh, the, 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 the refinery do, uh, creating the gold bars? This is yeah. also very important. You have very important. Also yeah, yeah okay. very important. Tell us a little bit about the, the refineries. So, yeah, so are, what are the best refineries? What is what are the types of gold bar to buy? So we only work with the top refineries, and these are LBMA certified refineries. This what is, is LBMA? Local, what is this abbreviation? And tell it's, us it's the London Bullion Market Association, and oh. they regulate and benchmark the precious metals market. This is the top standard of metals around the world. The LBMA, they manage and regulate the whole supply chain from the miners through the refinery process. And everything has to be uh, ticked off. The look and the, the uh, metrics of the, of the metals. The client and gold. the history of the gold also. You have to be sure that this yes. gold doesn't come from mines exactly. where kids are working in the mines. Or, exactly. Or, uh, you know, uh, the, the gold has to, be, has to have a, a good origin. Uh, a yes. reliable, a traceable origin. So you don't yes. want to buy gold stolen by criminals or gold yep. extracted from the earth by by kids or or things like that, which are very, which are quite yes. common in Africa or in Asia. Of course, so these, of course. These companies make sure that the provenance of the gold, the origin of gold, is legitimate. This is very important yes. because illegitimate gold has no value when yep. you want to sell it. And that's that's the other thing is. Um, the refineries that we use, which are LBMA certified, they're Horaeus and Argo Horaeus, um, which are part of the Horaeus Precious Metals Group. And they process around 90% of precious metal services around the world. So we're not talking about uh, small suppliers. We're talking about the biggest and best suppliers. This is how you can know that the metals that you're buying have the top quality and the top resale value as well. Exactly. But you can also buy coins, for example. This is also you can also buy coins. Yes, no problem. Yeah, I've got some, some here. We've got some, uh, some gold and some silver coins here. Yes, okay. you, you can you do that. You have also paper money here. Show, show us. Yeah, the yeah. Paper. We've got paper money that's in yeah. circulation yeah. Paper. and yeah. paper money that's not in circulation. Because look. This is this, Iraqi dinars. What is that? Iraqi this is Iraqi dinars. This is just paper. Just paper. This is also paper, but people believe in this at the moment. People have lost belief in this. Whereas this been around for used as real money for over two Four and a half thousand. thousand years or even more yes thousands yes. of years so yes uh, exactly thousands of years yeah so let me, let me just say about the um the place that you're getting the metals from yeah. is yeah. it should be globally recognized if it's not globally recognized if it's only recognized by a limited audience then you're really limiting when you want to sell back 
if you have a globally recognized piece of gold like this, it's from Horaeus. Everyone yeah. knows Horaeus around the world. I could take that to any corner of the globe. It will be recognized uh, for what it is, for its purity, for its value. And you'll get the top market price when you sell it back. This is very, very important. The smart people, the smart investors start with the end in mind and then yeah. they work backwards. So it's very important to have in mind when you, what happens when you buy the gold. And there are many companies that are not honest. They give an attractive buy price yes. and they steal money from the people when you sell the gold. So you buy this the is... gold and you think you're happy, but when you sell it, you pay a lot of money. So you have to pay attention at the price standards, at the pricing when you sell the gold. Tell us a little bit. You are an award-winning, multiple award-winning companies. Why you are winning these awards? Because you have excellent fair pricing structures of so telling us about yes. about this pricing why is this so important to make sure that you are you are, you are not rip off at the end of the chain when you want to yes. sell yeah I, I'm, I'm glad you brought this up enzo because this is um one of the mis most misunderstood parts and a part that um not very many people focus on at all but it is critical uh, a critical element of saving in precious metals. So just to give you... Um, give, give us you an example. example. Give us an example. Yeah. So we have uh, the gold spot price. This is the global market price. Think of it just like the exchange rate, you know, the uh, like between pounds, euros, dollars. It fluctuates. It goes up and down all day long. What companies do when they sell to you is they sell a percentage above that spot price. And this is how they make their margin. This is how they make business. Okay. Yeah. When companies buy back from you, uh, and most people just look at this, you know, they just look, oh, most this is just look when they buy and they don't look, they when just they look sell. when they buy. Yeah. When you, uh, when companies buy back from you, they usually buy back below the spot price. So they make money when they sell to you and they make money when they buy back from you. Now, here's the important bit. If you are selling metals to a company and they are giving you 4% below the spot price when they buy back, if your metals double in value over 10, 15, 20 years, the value of that 4% is going to double as well. Okay? Of course. So 4% today is not the same as 4% in 20 years' time when the metals uh, you know, increased in value. What we do at Alvesta is... We give you the spot price on the day. We don't eat into any of your gains, any of your profits. They are yours to keep. And this is why we've won awards for transparency, best service, and uh, best buyback price. But also, you have to make money. So where you make money? Where you make? We your... make we make money in the in the the sale. So when people buy from us, we have that margin uh, where we uh, where we make money. Yeah. But we don't make anything when we buy back the metals. Okay. We're uh -huh. just making it when we're selling it to people, not when we buy back. Uh -huh. That's very important because most very companies, important. we analyze competitors and we don't want to make uh, names here. But Adam and me, we made an analysis uh, on the most known companies and we have found out that Areos, and that's why I invited Adam here, uh, yes. they are a, a very fair company. And this is also the reason why they have won so many awards. What, what, tell us a little bit about, about your awards. What kind of awards have you have you uh, won? What yeah, well, of one of the awards, um, these awards have been given out by um, a publication called Focus Money, which is a very respected publication. Germany, in Germany. it's very respectable. Yes, it's one of the yes. best publications. Focus Money. So and they're giving, uh, they're giving awards in conjunction with the DFCI, uh, DFSI, the German Financial Services Institute. Yeah. And they do very complex tests, very, uh, very uh, detailed analysis. And uh, in June of, of this year, 2020, we were given an overall outstanding rating for everything we're doing across the board. Um, one of the awards that I'm most proud of us getting is for transparency. Yeah. Now, look, in the financial world, winning awards for transparency is a, is a very rare thing. It's a rare thing, exactly. So in the, in the banking world, in the banking system, transparency yes. is very <laughs> yes. rare. And this is what, what is our, because I'm active in the banking sector, I yes. help clients to solve their issues with banks, especially with Swiss banks and transparency. There is a lack of transparency. So transparency is exactly. very rare. And it's very easy. It's very easy to cheat people. You know, with this, yep. you can make money with hidden fees. There are so many types of hidden fees. 
Yes. There is, it is a jungle. And that's why I like your company so much because you are very transparent. Yes. In we, the pricing. We are the only company in the world that tells you everything about the metals that you own. So we'll tell you the exact bar serial numbers, the, the number that's unique to that bar. We yeah. tell you the exact weight, where it's located, and we tell you all the different uh, elements of that bar as well. So at any time, you know exactly, you know, uh, should Alvesta disappear, go bankrupt, or, you know, Brinks come into difficulty, there is no doubt, no question in anyone's mind who owns what metals of what bars. And all these bars are registered. And you have also a multi-level auditing process. So yes, you have internal audit, you have external audit. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the audit uh, procedures? Sure. So Brinks and Loomis produce audits every single day. And those audits we put on um, all customer accounts. So you can log in at any point. You can go back through, uh, through history and look at each one of those audits. Yeah. But we also have an independent third-party um, auditing company that does an audit of the audits. Uh -huh. So this is a secondary audit for total assurance for the, for the customer. Okay, excellent. They, they go in and do these audits. And if there's any mistakes on the audits, then, uh, then there's fines of up to half a million euros per mistake. Yeah. Ah, excellent. So now I want another, another very important topic is how to avoid VAT when buying gold, silver and platinum uh, when buying and selling precious yes. metals. So what, is the, what is the best advice, the best takeaway for our audience when they buy gold and they want to optimize tax, the tax impact? So yes, we so have for gold, we don't have VAT, but for the other metals, uh, we have VAT. Can you explain a little bit about how to save money uh, paying less tax? Yes. So uh, no, no VAT on gold, as you said, but there is on silver, palladium and platinum. So in the UK, uh, that's 20%. Uh, each country is different. Um, Switzerland so is 7.7%. 7, 7 is not much. It's the lowest yep. VAT in Europe, but still... Yep. Have it or not have it is a difference. Um, yes, seven, of course. Seven, yeah. And it's better in your pocket than somebody else's is what I always of course, think. Of course. So if you're buying silver, platinum and platinum and they are not stored anywhere, they're just in your house or um, a safety deposit box or something like that, then you pay the VAT. There's no way around it. But if you store them in something called a bonded warehouse, this is just a, an industry name for the type of vault that we have access to with Brinks and Loomis then yeah. you don't pay the VAT. So you automatically get more for your money just for storing them in the right place. And why you don't pay VAT with you? Because they're in the bonded warehouse. Just for storing them in the right place, the, the government doesn't uh, take any tax from you. So, uh -huh. so it's, it's like a duty, it is like a duty free, uh, duty privileged area or can you? Yeah, yeah, you can think of it like that. So just, just like storing them in- Like duty free Yes, duty -free exactly. Zone. Exactly. Okay. Okay. The, here's the, the critical part is if you wanted to sell your, uh, sorry, if you wanted to get your silver, palladium or platinum delivered, as yeah. soon as you take it out of that bonded warehouse, you have to pay the VAT and you pay it on the day that it comes out. So if you've held your metals for 10 years and they've doubled in value, you'll pay VAT on the price at when they come out. This is obviously a problem. So what we allow customers to do is to switch between all four metals. So if you're saving in silver and it's doubled in value and you want to get your wealth of that silver delivered, you can log onto your account, your Alvesta account, hit the switch button and switch all of your silver to gold and you can get the gold delivered. That means- You don't pay, you pay zero, zero. No VAT, VAT. no Excellent. VAT. You That's can, great. You, you never have to pay it just by switching from one to the other, get the gold delivered, no problem. That's great. And why I like your company so much is because your company is accessible also to small investors. You don't yes. have to be, because usually I deal with high net worth individuals. These are people having at least uh, 1 million on the bank account. 1 to 30 million is a high net individual. Above yes. 30 million is a ultra high net worth individual. So these are the people we are dealing with normally. But here with Avesta, even normal investors can. So what is the smallest amount? we can invest with the investor in the smallest amount. Let's say for a student, if a student wants to invest in our investor, what is the smallest amount he can do that with you? Um, 
Yeah, you can do it from really, really small amounts. Um, whatever, whatever people want to save. I mean, the very, very smallest, we have different savings plans where people can save. Um, I mean, you can save 100 euros, 200 euros, 1,000 euros, you know, 5,000 euros. Um, it's entirely up to you. Uh, we can well, even for 1,000 euros. So if somebody wants to invest 1,000 euros, he doesn't say, no, with these 1,000 euros, I want to invest in gold. He can do it with our Vesta at minimal cost. Correct? Yes, exactly. exactly. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Adam, for, for staying with us today. Information just like this cannot be found in universities, cannot be found in open libraries. If you just like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and push the button, the subscribe button below. So by doing so, you make sure to never miss a video in the future. Thank you very much Thanks, for staying Enzo. with us. Thank you very much, Adam. I wish you a great day. Thank you for your very valuable information. See Thanks. you next time. Bye-bye. Be rich and stay rich. Have a wonderful day.